Okay, now we're going to talk about a true merge, something where, you, you know, like uh, like that lawyer, that visual we looked at, where we split up, we both worked on different things, and we came back, and the master said, whoa, both of you have changed stuff. And I don't know which one is supposed to be the most updated version. Now, remember, that lawyer definitely committed something first. We could commit a month later and get still going to say, well, when you checked out of here, the name was Tyler. And now you're coming back in and telling me the name is Ben, but this lawyer came in a month ago and told me the name was Frank. So I don't. we have a conflict. We don't know which one is the true most updated version. So in my um, uh, master branch, as you can see here, I'm on the master. I've changed a little. I've added a line, fancy. I said this is a fancy car story. Uh, now I'm going to... Go over to the car branch, and that's going to be a boring car story, right? So I added those commits, so they're different. So I'm going to come back together with them, and it's going to say, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa!" Like you're you're changing. The, actually, I, you know, let's change it one more time. I'm going to change this to really boring car story. Get add all get commit. Um, changed to really boring okay so perfect so now you guys can see right away that I've changed to a really boring car story so now when I go back um, and actually what I need to do um, is go back and I'm gonna make another commit on that old one so let's go check out the master the masters copy is gonna be different I'm gonna say super fancy I'm going to say git add uh, all, git commit, change to super fancy. Okay, so now that's committed. Now, so I just have two different committed files on their own respective branches of different weird stuff. And really, you can think of the master as a trunk. I'm just calling it a branch. I mean, technically it's a branch, but you can think of it like the trunk. And if we change the trunk, merging that branch back in, it's still going to say... It's not going to automatically assume that the master is correct. It's going to say, okay, whoa, I've got two different versions here. Which, you know, one, what's the most updated one? So now let's go ahead and try our merge again. We're on the master branch. Um, let's head back out of the top. I'm going to do git merge car. And look, right away it said, okay, it's merging. Whoa, we got a conflict. There was a merge conflict in the file chapter one automatic merge failed fix conflicts and then commit the result so gets pretty much saying we ran into some big error we ran into a conflict i don't know which one is the most updated that's your job to fix now when you're doing this you're not on a branch you're in kind of this detached head like floaty merge land where you can't just you know like switch into something else real quick you you know you, you, like right now we couldn't just go into another branch we're in merge mode um, so now what Git's telling us though is we have to fix this merge. Well, if we look at our working directory, look at that. It's told us, well, here's the difference. It's going to add these lines, and it's going to add these lines everywhere that there's a conflict. And this can get really annoying. Now, I know, oh, well, why does it have to do that? It is helpful, but if this is why you're going to try to minimize your merge conflicts, because you don't want to see these everywhere because you got to erase and delete them, gets pretty much adding this stuff for you and then saying, all right, we'll fix it and then send us the good copy. So we're looking at this now and we're going, okay, well, one, the head, obviously, what we have says this is a super fancy car story. Then from the car, the car says this is a really boring car story. So it's going to say, okay, I got this one from the car and then this little you know, line obviously separates it. This is what we got from the head. Which one do you want to use? Well, we just have to edit the file to be what we want. I could erase that and then erase all this, and then I just save it and recommit it. Hell, I could even go here and just say, this is a awesome car story, and save that. Git pretty much show, it says, I'm going to show you where the problem is. You do whatever you want, but you just make sure it, like, it's fixed. So now I'm just going to go here, and I go git status. And it tells me, and it says, okay, we've got mo both modified chapter one, and it's in your unmerged path. Because remember, you're on this weird merge la-la land. I'm going to say git add chap one. 
I've got our status here. Okay, it changes to be committed. This modified one. All conflicts fixed, but you are still merging. So it says like you're still in merge mode. We're not just flat out on branch yet. So now I'm going to commit and I'm going to say merged chapter one changed it, changed it to awesome. Okay, so merge chapter one, added the comment and everything. So now if we look at our, let's add the graph there too. Whoa, now you're like, whoa, Joe, look at all those colors. I know, it can get pretty cool. But we look at, let's just ignore the graph for now and look straight up at our commits. Change to super fancy and change to really boring were both commits we made. This one, I believe, to the, uh, to the car and this one to the master. Each, each, either way, each of these were on different branches. It blobbed both of those on there. So it kind of did a fast forward of it just put those merges on top of the other merges. But then we added this next merge commit. This was us fixing everything. This was like all our merge conflicts being fixed and coming together. So it does blob these other commits on there, but these other commits kind of just like brought in information. This was us really fixing everything and making sure it worked. Now, we can kind of look and try to decipher this graph. I don't know if I want to go through the whole thing, but you can kind of see of how, okay, this star means this commit was here and it was zo zooming through this branch. And you know, kind of the line means we weren't really touching that branch, it was touching this branch. So we can kind of see the car branch, we see the master branch, and we see how it's going off, coming back in, going back up, and finally merged. So this is it completely fixed and good and ready to go. So hopefully this gives you a little bit better idea of how true merges at work and whatnot. Again, really make sure you understand how to do this, practice doing it. This is something that gets a lot of people confused, hung up. It can be really hard to get through the first couple of times. There's a lot of resources online. Uh, just really make sure you understand kind of how the whole merge process works before getting much further into you know remote repositories or branches.